Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a pinch pot with a foot and let's get started. As you watch me demonstrate the pinch pot method, keep in mind that I've sped the video up significantly and you should find a slow, intentional pace to create your pinch pot. I'm starting to form a ball of clay by slapping the clay with a cupped hand. Then, I will push my thumb down into the center until a small amount of clay remains at the base. Now I can begin pinching. I hold the clay with my non-dominant hand while I pinch it with my right hand. I pinch and rotate. I focus on keeping the walls in even thickness. Small amounts of water can help the surface be smooth and the clay remain plastic, but too much will create a slimy surface and weaken the walls of the pinch pot. Let this method teach you how to manipulate the clay. How much pressure is too much? When do you need to apply a little more? A good way to gain some insight is to use a cutting wire to slice through the pinch pot. This will allow you to see if the pot is even all the way around and to gain understanding where you need to adjust. To add the foot, you begin by rolling out a coil of clay. I like to create a foot that's more narrow than the pot itself because this creates a pedestal under the pot and lifts it from the table. Once I have cut the coil to the right size, I score and slip and blend it into a ring. Sometimes when I don't have slip handy, I create slip in the hatch marks by scoring, adding water, and then scoring again. Scoring and slipping is always a must when attaching. Remember to score and slip the ring as well as the pinch pot. Create pressure to ensure the foot is secure and blend a little to adhere it. Be careful not to cause your foot to blend entirely into the rest of the pot. We don't want it to disappear. Remember we are creating a pedestal and not just an extension of the body of the pinch pot. And that will conclude our short introduction to the pinch pot with a coil foot. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the pinch pot method and would like to take your skill to the next level, check out the video where I take two pinch pots and create a hollow sphere. See you next time.